Hi guys, XYZ, and I know it's been quite some time since I did a good and the bad episode, and uh, you know, it's just been a couple of uh, months of um, hectic work, <laughs> but um, yeah, I just wanted to get back into it, and what I like to do is continue with the whole Tekken franchise that I've been going with, and I decided to go with Tekken Tag Tournament, and uh, I mean, this one's pretty interesting because it's it's like traditional Tekken, you know, traditional fighting, but it included a tag element where you actually have fight in, in pairs and you, you can use like different tag moves to kind of give you the advantage and along with that I, this is also technically the first uh, Tekken game on the PlayStation 2 uh, even though this is not really part of the main uh, storyline or just the main uh, well canon I guess that's what put it and it's not really canon towards any of the other games but it's an interesting twist off of tech, uh, traditional Tekken so um, yeah let's take a look at this Well, for the good of Tekken Tag Tournament, uh, some things I can say immediately are, um, well, I mean, for one thing, the characters, the amount of uh, characters that you can play in the game. Uh, I believe it's a little over 30. I'm not sure that's really including any uh, palette swaps or whatever, but I mean, at the time, a little over 30 characters, that's a pretty, pretty uh, big amount. And especially, it kind of gives you a good variety of combinations of characters you can pair up against and you know, fight as a team. Uh, the second thing I do like is the um, the tagging system itself. Um, like I said, you could fight traditional ta uh, tagging, you know, one on one, and then you can just switch whenever you need to, you know, when when your health is down. Um, but you know, there are some unique uh, variations on the tagging system, and by that, uh, you know, you can tag while you. You can technically switch characters while you're down, you know, so that way your opponent won't like get you while you're down. You know, or you, you, and during middle of attacks, you can actually switch characters, and they can actually continue a certain combo for you. And you know, I mean, it kind of it, it's kind of fun just playing around with different combinations with characters like that. And also, there are even specific characters. If you do specific teams, like for instance, if you do June and Jin Kazama, they can do actually special tag combinations. And you know, so it's like a good it's a pretty good way to like experiment to find out which teams can actually do what type of combos. And the third thing I do like is the, uh, I guess the variety of game modes they have. You know, it's more or less the same as any of the other uh, tagging games at the time. You know, you have arcade survival, you have uh, time attack, practice mode, obviously, uh, but they also include. Um, you know, one on one. So, if you want to make this traditional tech and just one character fighting another character, you, you can do that. Uh, they also have what is known as pair play mode, and what I think it is, it's a lot. It allows you to uh, choose different teams. You know, have like you and another person be on the same team fighting against other people, and or you can actually have up to four people playing the game at once, and with that, you can have choose different teams to you know fight up against one another and then of course you have the weirdly you have the Tekken Bowl game mode which pretty much becomes like a a, a random game of bowling <laughs> where you're trying to score the highest amount of pins it, it's kind of a weird gimmicky game to throw in but it, honestly it just kind of feels fun just playing Tekken Bowl at times Well, for the bad of Tekken Tag Tournament, um, well, I guess one thing I could say immediately is, uh, well, I'm not really a fan of the final battle of the arcade game. Uh, I mean, the arcade mode, you kind of go through about eight fights or so, and then you have to face off against, um, well, the final, the final boss in the game is known as uh, Unknown, and... Well, I mean, it was kind of a little bit of a debate at the time who Unknown really was. I mean, well, obviously now it's been confirmed that Unknown is Jun Kazama in like a, a mutated form, whatever. But uh, the fight, though, against Unknown in the game is uh, it's kind of more or less lackluster, in my opinion. It doesn't really feel as epic, you know, not as epic as like facing off against uh, Devil or against Ogre. And honestly, it kind of feels like you have more of the advantage, in my opinion, because you're only fighting Unknown, and she's only one character. She can't switch. She has no partner or anything like that. Um, 
I mean, she does regenerate health over time, but that's it's not really much compared to you who actually has two full health characters. So it's it's more or less somewhat on the easy side beating unknown. And then second thing I'm not really a fan of, honestly, is the endings, the ending cutscenes at an arcade mode. It's they're pretty standard. I mean, they only last for like maybe. I think each ending lasts for about maybe like 15 20 seconds and it's always playing the same musical flourish and it's always some random scene that really has nothing to do with anything it's just there for the sake of having an ending i guess so i mean it kind of feels a little pointless why even bother her and then the third thing uh the third thing would probably be the well the stages and then the music I mean, I do like the fact they included some of the stages from uh, previous Tekken games, but I kind of wish they would have done more, you know, included more landmarks, more stages from from the other games, or maybe if you could include all of them, that would have been nice. And then also the music, uh, it, it seems they didn't really uh, took in the music from the other games, you know, it, they're using mostly just uh, standard original music you know just using original music for this game which um i mean it, it's nice but you know it would have been also kind of a a good opportunity to kind of have some remixed versions of some of the old uh you know songs from the previous games well for improvements uh, well, obviously, for one of them, maybe have more stages, more songs that, that you can, you know, have it into the game. You know, and maybe also mix and match, you know, have a, a song from one stage, mix in with a, a completely different stage, you know, have a, like a weird combination. You know, I, I think that would be kind of an odd yet kind of satisfying thing to pull off. Uh, then second, I would say... Of obviously changing up the endings of each of the characters where maybe give us something that's more cinematic compared to like what we see in Tekken 2 and 3 because what we're getting here is just pretty uh, pretty plain it's almost like the same stuff we get from like the very first Tekken game where just playing the same musical flourish and you know I, I want to see like more of like a story-esque ending if that may that makes any sense and then the third I would like to see uh, more game modes I, I mean it wouldn't be th that bad. I mean, if you included, like, for instance, the Tekken Ball mode, I mean, that, that would have made a lot more sense, you know, since it felt like it could have been a two-player game to begin with, so maybe they could have brought that back. Maybe they, they could have even brought back Tekken Force and you know, have, like, a a, a a tag team Tekken Force type game. That, that would be kind of an interesting twist to it as well. Well, overall, Tekken Tag Tournament is uh, a pretty, pretty good game, and even, even for today's standards, it actually works out pretty well. And you know, I would actually say this is actually a pretty good, good game for those who have never even played Tekken before. You know, who those want to get introduced into the whole fighting genre. Uh, however, if you're trying to play this game and trying to go for like a whole story synopsis on trying to understand the whole mission of Bloodline and the whole feud between the the, the whole family. Uh, this game doesn't offer any of that. But, on the other hand, if you do want to uh, have like a, a good fighting game, a good arcade type fighting game with the, your favorite set of characters, I would say this is actually not a bad pick. And also considering uh, this game pretty much became popular to the point where it, it actually got re-released uh, down the road uh, as part of the Tekken Hybrid collection. Uh, essentially, the Tekken Hybrid was just a, a collection of it's basically an HD remake of Tekken Tag Tournament, as well as the uh, the prologue to the second game, and also the the movie Blood Vengeance movie. But uh, anyway, uh, Tekken Tag Tournament though it it actually works out pretty well. And with that, I would give a final score to this game a I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. It holds up pretty well, even. Even to today, I still play this game every now and then, you know, just to kind of get the fun out of it. And also try to just beat my score on the Tekken Bowl game mode. But, uh, yeah, I would say give it a shot if you can. And, you know, I would say try to go for the HD, the HD re-release, because that one actually works out pretty well. And besides, you're almost getting, like, almost getting two games and a movie out of the same, out of the same game itself. So, yeah, go with that. <laughs> well, this is Devil Hunter XYZ. And until next time.